Hi everyone and welcome inside Mountain America Stadium for the Sun Devil Source 2 Minute Drill. I'm Gabby Chernoff. He's Chris Cartman. We're here following Kenny Dillingham's weekly Monday press conference. ASU now ranked number 14 in this week's AP poll following the 28-23 win over then number 14 BYU. Um, and the end of the game there were some murmurs kind of about how it was handled. Uh, people on social media forming all their different opinions. I know you had some opinions of your own but Kenny when we just talked to him revisited some of those those decisions. So what did you make of what he said about that kind of end scenario? He said that he would do it differently. Um, he said he would risk a fumble, but try to punch in a touchdown. You got Cam Scadaboo there in the backfield. It kind of makes sense. Um, by the book, he had thought after the game they should be able to run out the clock. They weren't able to do that. He said, though, in a one-point one game, uh, he would have tried the same thing. And, and he thought that they didn't work on executing what they tried well enough uh, in recent weeks and in, in practices and then that is what contributed to them not being able to do it successfully. And then after the win, one game left in the regular season, it's U of A. Um, a lot of fans are also talking about the possibility of a Big 12 championship appearance. Um, Kenny Dillingham, same as last week, not too sure on those tiebreaker scenarios last week. He said if ranch falls on a chicken wing uh, this week about the same rhetoric. So what did you make of that? Well, it, it was refreshing because he's so focused on process over results. So he, all that he can do is help ASU win another football game, and that's all his players can do. And so the reality is, is the these tiebreaker scenarios. The, the one that matters is basically ASU ending up in a three-way tie with Colorado and Iowa State, and and then um, you know needing some other things to go right in order to make it in but he's not he's not even focused on any of that he's just fully engaged on what they have in front of them um you know asu has had big leads now in the last two games earlier in the season this is a team that struggled offensively through large stretches of the first half didn't win on the road at texas tech they've gotten better but he said that they're still young and still developing in a lot of ways and being able to put teams away is the next step in this process that they're going through and unlike ASU's team last year, this U of A team has a lot of returning guys, uh, namely that lethal duo in quarterback Noah Fafita and then wide receiver Tedaroa McMillan. Teacup this week, 130 kick. What does this rivalry mean? What does it look like for ASU? There's a lot of bad blood historically. Um, we were just talking about it before, before this, but uh, the worst team has often been a spoiler. And ASU is an 8.5 point favorite. That's the biggest favorite in a conference game under Dillingham. But I think ASU fans know that that doesn't really mean that much. And Dillingham said that they were embarrassed last year, right here, playing against Arizona in his first time as the head coach in the Territorial Cup. He doesn't want anything like that to happen again, ever, but certainly not this year. And so they are very much focused on the task at hand and not worrying about whatever happens after that. Well, we'll have you covered all week long as ASU gets set to not only not get embarrassed, but beat U of A on their home turf this Saturday. A 1.30 kick, like we said, the entire Sun Devil Source crew will be down in Tucson with you. Until then, I'm Gabby Chernoff and Chris Cartman for Sun Devil Source.